I have not had a McDonald's delivery in forever. This has just turned up. So basically today I thought what we could do is I've spoken about Australia quite a lot, like recently, that I'm going. But I've actually not sat down and told you anything about it, like the plans, what I'm doing. So I asked for you to ask me questions over on my Instagram. So I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do that today. I'm going to answer the questions that you asked me. But I also ordered some of the new menu items to try from McDonald's because I really wanted to try and I just saw a couple of things and I was like, oh, they look so nice. I thought I'll have to get them. However, I didn't get everything. There was like a new like steak burger. I didn't get anything like that because I knew that realistically I wouldn't be able to eat it all and I just didn't want food to go to waste. This is basically just like my average. McDonald's order, but specifically new menu items to try, which I'm really excited about. So, I'm going to open this up. Look at the packaging now. So much better. <gasps> oh, I'm excited. So, we have got the, oh my god, these smell incredible, cheesy garlic bites. I'm not usually like a massive cheesy, like McDonald's bite person. Like the cheese bites in general, I don't really reach for them, but garlic ones, I thought I'm happy to try them. Other food, I got some chips, obviously as always and then i got the new fajita crispy wrap to try so that's the main food that i got and then i also got one of the new mcflurries which i believe is the dairy milk caramel which i feel like i may have had in the past but you know it's come back to me in a return so i'm getting it delicious i mean a bit, a bit stingy with how much they've popped in there <laughs> Gonna pop a few more little bits on top, but that's okay. I did actually order barbecue sauce. I paid for barbecue sauce and it's not turned up, so that's depressing. I must say, when I order food, something never arrives. Every single time, there's always something that doesn't arrive. It drives me crazy. Right, what do I try first? Oh my god, I'm very excited. I've just been eating the chips, so that's why I'm chewing. Right, I'm gonna go in with the cheesy garlic bites first, I think. Is it stringy? Oh my god, I don't think it's gonna be really stringy. Not really. Oh my god, they're so good. Mm. Oh my god, they're 10 out of 10. They are incredible. I feel like I get bored of them. I feel like they're quite sickly. I get bored of them after a while, but wow. Oh my god, wow. Amazing. 10 out of 10. I do wish that they came with a sauce. They don't have any sauce or anything with them, which is kind of sad, but apart from that, I don't know if you get it when you're in the store. Delivery, it only let me click no dip. It didn't have any other options, so that's the only bad thing I'd say. And I also got a Fanta today. Fanta Zero. It's quite different for me. When I'm ordering McDonald's, I always go for a Coke Zero, but I do love a Fanta. I just fancied a Fanta today. It's really hit the spot, actually. So whilst I eat this, I'm going to answer some questions. I can't believe how good these are. They're incredible. This is going to be my new go-to McDonald's order. I'm going to have to get these because they're just so good. Also, look how cute my phone case is. It's my new one that I've put on. I actually adore it. It's from Coconut Lane. I'll leave my code on the screen in case you want to go and shop for it. And I'll leave the link to this one in the description if you want to buy it. But how cute. It's so cute. So, bearing in mind all of these questions are relative to Australia. Where are you planning on going? So, this is kind of a hard one because I feel like I've got an envision in my mind of what I want to do. So, I'm just going to tell you basically what I've told everyone else that I'm doing. This is just a rough idea. This is just a rough idea of what I've got in my head that in an ideal world I'd love to do. So, I'd really love to fly to Singapore first. Spend like a day or two in Singapore and then carry on to Australia. We're going to visit Josh's family who live about an hour and a half away from Brisbane in a little town like inland a little bit more. So, what we do is fly from Singapore to Brisbane, I think, go and see them, and then go up to Cairns. So, Cairns is more towards the top. Up to Cairns, and then come back down, do what we've got to do there, and then come back down to, like, Brisbane area. Then I want to, like, carry on down the coast, so, like, where Byron Bay is, Bondi Beach, until we get to Sydney. Do Sydney, carry on around there, and then, this is where I always lose it. This is where I always lose my head. I want to keep going around. I need to get the map up. Let me get the map up. Oh, it's crazy that it's the other side of the world. It really freaks me out. So, yeah. So you've got like the Brisbane and then there's like the Sunshine Coast, the Gold Coast and we'd come all the way down here, down to Sydney. I've just realised you won't be able to see that at all. Let me come closer. Oh, can you even see? I don't even know if you can see. Brisbane's up here, all the way down to Sydney, down here. And then I think we'll carry on to Melbourne, do like the Victoria area. I'd love to go to Tasmania, whether that's possible or not, I don't know, but we'll look into it at the time. I think from there we're going to get a plane up to, is it Alice Springs? And do Ayers Rock. So Ayers Rock's here. So it's literally a miles away. And then from here, once we've done that bit, go over to Perth. Do Perth and then fly to Dubai on the way back. Go to Dubai and then go home. 
that would be my absolute dream whether that happens or not is a completely different story but that is like my dream of what i'd love to happen so that's like a rough idea of what we've got in our heads at the minute of what we're gonna do that's like a rough idea of where we want to go but if anybody's got like any suggestions honestly i need help i only know like the tiniest amount about australia so if anybody's been if anybody knows what they're doing anybody got any suggestions like how to travel because i also don't know whether it's better to fly to places or get like overnight coaches because i've had mixed opinions of what's cheaper so if anybody knows anything a little bit deeper please let me know that is the sort of plan for now honestly i've stuffed these i thought i'd get bored of these after like two or three i could eat a share box to myself these are so good if you like garlic but you don't want it to be too much i think this is great i don't think it's overpowering it's like the perfect amount of garlic it's oh unreal it's so good next question is have you booked your flights currently it's the 16th of january at this point no i'm desperate to get my flights booked i think we're gonna go march time because it's still hot then but not like as ridiculously hot as it is now so i think march time that's the plan we're gonna fly we need to sit down we need to look at like the cheapest dates to go we also need to look at like when other people could do we really need to get it booked my plan in my diary it's already written down is that by the end of january it's gonna be booked sorted ready to go but again it's like who do you fly with and like working out how to do it if we're gonna stop off in singapore so it's just all those little things that we need to put together but basically josh has been away for a little while with his friends and he's literally just got back so now is the time when we've both got a day off work we need to sit down together because we've been working like opposite schedules which is really frustrating but because we've been working like opposite it's been hard to like sit down and sort it out but as soon as we've got a free day that is exactly what we're going to do we're going to get it all sorted and get it booked and i cannot wait because i feel like it's going to be such a weight just lifting off my shoulders knowing that that's done and dusted and i don't have to think about it anymore the flights there are done i think we're just going to book a one-way flight for now and then see what happens but we're thinking like two to three months probably so march time would be great March time is ideal. Fingers crossed we're going to get it sorted soon. Honestly, this is really hitting the spot today. Because usually, if I order a McDonald's to my house, I end up, like, not enjoying it at all. Because it's, like, cold by the time it gets here. And it hasn't been at all today. It was, like, really hot when it came. So, yeah. I'm very, very happy about it, actually. What clothes are you taking? Like, luggage. Basically, the question is just, like, asking about what luggage I'm taking. How much am I going to be able to take clothes-wise? I am taking a backpack. Do you want me to I'm going to go get the backpack that I'm taking so I can show you it. And honestly, I want to die. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know I'm going to take everything. There it is. <laughs> what on earth? I mean, this is the cutest thing ever. Josh bought me this for Christmas. And it's really cute, but it's so small. <sighs> How am I going to fit everything in there? I actually, it's freaking me out. It's really freaking me out. Josh keeps telling me there's more room than I think there is, but it looks like I'm going to fit nothing in there. I'm just going to make it work because I want to travel and I just, it's the best way to do it. And I know it's the best way to do it, but it just makes me sad that I'm not going to have like 23 kilograms of luggage. I feel like I need two bags of luggage, like two big suitcases and I'm just not even going to have one. It's kind of freaking me out, but at the minute I'm thinking clothes wise, it's just going to have to be very thin clothing, very thin. And I think I'm just going to have to take like a pair of sandals, maybe one tiny like flat pairs of gazelles and then a pair of trainers that are good for every day and that is it like i can't take any more and i think i want to take like one jumper that i'm going to wear on the plane and a coat and that's it but it's gonna be too hot when i get there realistically but if i'm like on coaches and stuff i'm gonna want to be like maybe a little bit cozy i don't know i'll see but i'm gonna have to take like thin trousers and shorts and little like bandeaus and tops like that and like just a couple of bikinis and just deal with it and i'm really like actually quite worried about it because obviously like I love working with brands and I love getting new clothes and it's so exciting and all that's going to change for a little while. And I know that I can buy clothes when I'm out there and that's sort of like giving me a bit of hope and a bit of like, oh, I can live with that. Because I feel like I can just buy things when I'm out there and like change things out and I can sell clothes that I have that I take with me on Vinted and then just swap them out. But that kind of makes me sad because I won't want to do that. But I'm just going to have to make it work. Worst case scenario, if I get over there and towards the end of the trip I'm like, I I've had enough these clothes, like I can't deal with it anymore. I can always like buy a suitcase. But that is like last, last resort that's the luggage situation i'm very stressed out about it i don't know how i'm gonna do it i don't know how i'm gonna do like the toiletries like i've got so many toiletries that i have to take and i don't know how i'm gonna fit them all in my bag because i can't go right this is a genuine question that i need somebody who's australian to answer do you do filter by molly may in australia because that is my go-to tan i use it every day and i don't naturally tan so i can't be in a bikini looking super pale i just can't do it i've done it before and it makes me too sad and i don't want to do it again so if anybody knows the answer to that question because when i look on the website it's very confusing it just says that international but is that everywhere i don't know so if somebody knows please let me know i'm on my last one 
but it's so sad. These have been very, very good to me. Absolutely love them. Let's try this wrap. I'm ever so excited about this. I feel like it's going to be so good. I love the heaters anyway. And I'm really enjoying McDonald's wraps, actually. I think they're really good. I'm intrigued to see what the sauce is going to be like. Oh, oh, it smells nice. It smells quite spicy. Is it going to be spicy? Mm. The first bite, obviously, I feel like I need to take a couple more because I've literally just got, like, wrap and lettuce, mostly, and a bit of sauce. It sort of reminded me of, like, the Taco Bell sort of flavour. Mm. Oh, my God, that is unreal. I didn't really know what to expect, so I don't really know why. Because I love fajitas, but you know, usually when you have fajitas, you have it with like peppers and onions and like melted cheese. And I was like, is it going to be the same if it's just in a wrap, like a warmish wrap with lettuce? Like I was just, I didn't know if it was going to hit the same really. So I thought, oh, I'm excited to try it and see if it actually is as good. And I must say that that is delicious. Like if you love Mexican style chicken, you will love this. This is so nice and really like nice and light and tasty and i think it's got like the perfect balance this one anyway sometimes i think mcdonald's can be hit and miss with the wraps because you either get loads of like lettuce and sauce like with like no chicken or just loads of bread before you get into any of the actual substance you get loads of wrap this time not at all i think it's really packed it's really good and it's like the perfect balance between the chicken and like the veg the lettuce and the sauce it's so good however i am not a fan of things being drowned in the sauce this just has enough sauce like you can see on that side it's sort of like coming out the sauce so it's got quite a bit of sauce it's got like enough sauce for it to like not be dry at all which is great but i like things to be oozing with sauce so if you do you might want a bit more sauce which is the only like maybe downside for other people but for me this is unreal oh my god i can't speak in it i genuinely think this is gonna be my new go to order because i don't know how long these things are gonna be around for if they're new are they like limited or are they gonna be around for ages i don't know i'm gonna have to get this whilst it's around because that is oh so good crazy good and i've said it multiple times but it really is amazing oh my god the next question how much are you saving to go so we originally we said two three months and i had in my mind of saving up about six thousand including flights and i thought oh that'll be me like that's just me being like safe and you know i'll have enough money and i'm also planning on getting a working visa so if desperate times i can work for like a few nights before i carry on but like that would be like desperate times because i really want to go and just like enjoy it and i want to go and like i want to film these videos so the days that i'm not exploring i want to be editing and getting views out for you because the videos will change a little bit slightly when i go i know i'm going off on a tangent a bit but i've got points to it Videos will change as I go because I'm not going to be able to do as many hauls. I am going to still do hauls. I'm going to order bits from like Tiger Mist and White Fox and places like that and do like little reviews whilst I'm over there. Fashion videos aren't going to go completely and like makeup videos and stuff. I'll still be doing all them. But I'm going to do like tasting videos, trying the fast food over there. Um, obviously there'll be so many vlogs. There'll be so many videos coming out. Like I actually have got a GoPro. So my plan is like when we're at the Greater Barrier Reef to have loads of content and I'll post like just that day probably because I'm hoping I'll have enough content to show just that day i really really want to get so many videos out for you whilst i'm over there that's my plan on like the nights where we're just having a chill night i really don't want to work if i don't have to but that is an option if i need to that's if i can get a working visa but i think it's quite easy to get a working visa from the uk so originally i had a plan to save up six then i was speaking to someone that i know who i used to work with and she said that she saved four grand after flights for a month so now i'm like oh my god i need like double what i said and i'm a bit all over the place so i'm basically just trying to save as much as physically possible now like just as much as i can i do have other savings but i wanted to save that for like getting a car doing my lessons or like putting a deposit on a house obviously i'd need to save a bit more to put it towards a house but like a little starting point for a deposit so i can go into that if i desperately need to i just realized this has bits of onion in it oh nice i didn't realize that oh i'm gonna have such bad breath though garlic and onion in an ideal world i don't want to go into that but that's there if i need it but i'm just trying to save literally as much as possible six is my goal if I can save more, I will, and then I'll just work when I'm over there if I need to. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Obviously, as I'm there, I'll be able to give you a proper rundown of like, how much I think you'll spend or like, how much I think you'll need if you are going to go to Australia. But I did actually read an article the other day saying it was about 2500 this girl spent. And there's me and Josh, so we'll be sharing like either hostels or hotel rooms, things like that. So it'll ease it a little bit and not be as expensive, which will make it a little bit easier. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. From McDonald's, anyway. I'm enjoying every single bite. This region will just be all over the place. Like, I know I ain't got any lipstick left on my mouth as well. Tell you what, I have neglected these chips and they're really cold now. Not great. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're not great at all. I'm gonna eat them, but yeah, I'm not enjoying them very much. Somebody's asked, are you nervous or excited? At the minute, a bit of both. Obviously, the 
is the word that I'm looking for like the stronger feeling is excited like I cannot wait it's gonna be so good and I know that I'll be fine because I've got Josh with me everything's gonna be fine I'm not on my own Josh has family over there which makes it a bit easier because if anything was to happen we've got people there and obviously advice from them and stuff as well so the major feeling is excitement but obviously just to like drop everything and go to like the other side of the world is very very scary and I am very nervous I'm very nervous I just think in life sometimes you've got to just live in the moment a little bit more and just go for things and I'm trying to do things that scare me a little bit more. The overriding feeling is excitement but I just, I am very, very nervous at the minute especially because it's sort of just trying to get everything together and make a proper plan. It is very scary. I do think these wraps are deceiving you know because I feel like I've been eating this for five million years now. And I've still got half a bloody wrap left. I'm actually getting quite full now but I'm going to power through. Somebody's asked if I think I'll move there. Um... As of right now, no, I don't think I will just because it is so far away and I've not been. So there's like no reason for me to want to move there at the minute at all, really. Um, I also don't do very well in the sun. So I feel like I'd really struggle in the winter months in like their summer. I just think I'd really struggle with it. So I don't think so. I could get there and absolutely fall in love with the place and want to stay there and want to live there. So I can't say for sure. Never say never. I might absolutely love it. I might want to move there instantly. And I might. We might move there. Who knows? I'm never going to say no. Just cut it off. But right now, no. I think it's too far away from home for me. I haven't even been there yet. So I don't even know what it's like. I could get there and not like it. Like who knows? And it's just the other side of the world. I just find it crazy that it's literally the other side of the world. Like if I ordered this at like a nice Mexican restaurant, I'd be so happy. I'd really enjoy it. I'm going to try the caramel. I know I'm going to like this. The galaxy. I said, did I say dairy milk earlier? It's galaxy caramel. I know I'm going to like this. I just know I'm going to love it. Um, I'm going to answer the question, why did you choose to go to Australia over other places? So basically the whole reason for going really is because Josh has family over there. And it's always sort of been a thing that we've discussed maybe doing. And I've seen so many people who have gone over there who have like finished uni or just people my age who have taken the time to go. And it was always sort of a thing that was discussed for a long time. We said we'd do it one day. And then we was leaving uni and we was like, right, this is the time to do it. So if we're going to do it at any point, now is the time. By the way, this is incredible. It's so good. I have definitely had this before. But it's like new on the menu. So it's a new menu item. It counts. But I love caramel. And they also do a chocolate one as well. And galaxy chocolate is just, oh, it's so good. However, I must say... They've been ever so stingy with the amount of chocolate bits and galaxy and the sauce. There's just no sauce. I'm having to like scrape it off the sides to get any. So that's not great. But apart from that, it's delicious. It's kind of melted as well, which I actually really like. I love it when it's like half melted, half not. I don't know why. I just really love eating ice cream when it's half melted. I think it's so good. Unless it's in a curd and then it's an absolute nightmare. It's a disaster. But if it's in a tub, I like it when it melts a little bit. Um, what I was gonna say what was I even talking about I won't even say that we're going there over other places I just think now because it's so far away we wanted to take we've always said we want to take like a month or two to do it if we're gonna do it because you need that amount of time to go see Australia because it's such a big place other places I feel like you can do in like a week or so so you could get it off work whereas this was more of a if we're gonna do it let's do it now before we get settled into a job so that's why we've chosen Australia over other places really but we also have done like a lot of Europe this year not this year because we're in 2024 now oh my god where's the time going it's freaking me out last year we went to loads of places in europe so i feel like we've done quite a lot of europe as well and we're definitely gonna go to as many places as possible really in the future we just want to go to as many places as we possibly can a couple more questions left to go so how are you saving to go the main things that i've done to save is moving home so obviously i was living in manchester and it was such a hard decision to move like honestly i did not want to like i cried i did not want to come back home because I was just so used to living my life in Manchester and having my own flat and having my own space and I just loved my life in Manchester. I was just really settling into living there. All my friends were there. Like it was a very, very hard decision and even now I really miss it. Like I love being at home and I love being closer to family and some great things have happened because I've come home but I, I do miss having my flat and living with my boyfriend. Like of course I do. It's really been a hard adjustment and I really miss it a lot actually. And I miss my friends. I miss seeing my friends there. I I just missed that sort of independence but that was the main way that we saved because we was paying like 1000 something between us to live in that apartment so that's a massive reduction in cost for us. I'm lucky that I could move home like for some people I know that's not an option but 
we're very, very lucky and that's the main way that we've saved. Obviously, I earn a little bit of money from doing this now, so I've just saved up all of that, really. I've been selling so many things on my vintage just to try and save up to go, and then I've also got a job as well, so literally every spare penny goes just in my savings, really. Every single time I get paid, I send money to my savings straight away just so it's, like, done. That's not my money to spend. I'm also quite careful, like, with how much I go out. I mean, I love a good meal every now and then, but, like, I frequently eat at home i also don't really go on many nights out but i never really have anyway so that was a good way for us to save just a lot of things like that really i've just been quite conscious and really tried to save up as soon as i get paid i'll put it away and just then it's sorted it's away and like i don't go into my savings so i never dip into it so i sort of budget myself knowing what i'm gonna need to spend so yeah that's the main way that i save money but i must say the main way that we've done it is by moving home which was really really hard but we're very lucky to be able to do so very lucky that we've got family that just let us move back home so yeah that is the main way that we've saved up oh yes i found a few more chocolate bits at the bottom oh great excellent still not very impressed by how much caramel sauce i got there but i'll live really is like the biggest first world problem i think i've ever had in my life but it's just so easy to eat it's so easy it's so light and creamy i love a mcflurry it's one of the best best desserts ever i usually go for the smarties one if none of the like limited edition ones are that exciting or if they don't have any i always go for the smarties one because you get the most on it and i just love like the crunchy bits of smarties are so good last question that i'm going to answer what do you have planned to do whilst you're there so we don't actually have a full plan in place really but we just got ideas of things that we definitely want to do for christmas we got a sydney harbour bridge clamp so we're gonna go and do that which i'm really excited about i didn't realize how big the sydney harbour bridge actually is where you just like walk over it and you get to like the peak and then you can either come back around the other side and go back over the other side again or you can just go up to the peak and then come back down. I'm not too sure what we're doing yet, but that's a definite. We're also definitely going to do the Great Barrier Reef. So we're going to like saw and stuff. But I actually think we're also going to do a helicopter ride over the Great Barrier Reef. Because I was looking into it. And it's not that much more to do it. And I've always wanted to do a helicopter ride. And I feel like that's the place to do it. Like that would be the most incredible experience. And then I really want to skydive. I think we're going to skydive in Cairns. Which is the most scary thing. I, I honestly don't know why I want to do it. But I, I think the reason that I want to do it is because Josh is saying that he's going to do it. And I can't live my life knowing that he's done it. And I haven't because I just get too, way too jealous. Like, I can't handle that. And he's telling people that he did it and I didn't do it. Like, that's just so embarrassing. So, I, I feel like I have to do it. And now I've, like, set myself up a little bit more to be like, oh, I'm going to skydive. So, like... I have to do it. I have to go and do it now. We're also going to do like the Steve Irwin um, zoo. We're going to go see Ayers Rock. We want to go and maybe see an opera in the Sydney Opera House. But we're just going to see what's like happening when we get to that area. Like when we get to Sydney, we'll see what's going on. They're the main things. Obviously, we want to go to like see Byron Bay. Just explore Brisbane. Explore all like the main cities. We do actually have like a big list. We've got like a map. And we've written on like, everything that we want to go and do. There's like the world's oldest crocodile. And we want to go see that somewhere. And um, want to hold a koala. There's so many things that we've got planned. But they're like the biggest things that I can remember off the top of my head. And they're also very expensive. So I really need to. This is what I'm saying. When I say that I need to save up. I really need to save up. Because all of these things are like the dream. But they're also pretty expensive. So that is the plan. They are all the things that we want to do. And I'm going to be blocking it off. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. So, yeah, that is everything. 10 out of 10 for McDonald's. Absolutely unreal. I thought maybe the cheese weights would let me down a bit. I thought I'd just think they were kind of average. But they were actually some of the tastiest things ever. Actually delicious. The fajita wrap was incredible. The only thing that I'm kind of disappointed with is the chips. They were a bit me when they got here. And the fact that I had no barbecue sauce is really depressing. Because McDonald's do the best barbecue sauce. So, the fact that there wasn't any, very sad. But... It was insane, 10 out of 10. If you haven't tried them yet, go and try them. I also want to know if anybody's tried the new steak burger, how that is, because I just don't reach for a steak burger. I think if Josh was here, I'd have got it and then he'd have eaten it, just so I could try it. But I just thought I don't want to get it and then not eat it, because I definitely wouldn't be able to eat it all. So yeah, let me know if you've tried that. But apart from that, I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe down below so you don't miss any other videos and I will see you very soon. Let me know if you have any ideas of like videos that you want me to film and stuff because I know that I've just been sat here quite a lot and I want to do some like more vloggy bits but I just haven't done anything that interesting. I feel like January's a bit of an awkward month and like I said, I'm trying to save but there'll be more interesting things coming very soon so if you want to see those things, please do subscribe and let me know if you've got any videos that you want me to do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!